You're going to see how this defender here is going to basically play inside and try to play his run fits first, which is why he's totally out of position and this bubble screen here gets wide open. And now if we go to the replay, you can see that this defender is going to drop down immediately on that receiving route, but we also have our safety still playing the run fits. So you can see right here, this safety is still walking forward to stop the run. So basically, no matter what my opponent does from this look, I'm going to get the stop. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. That's right. We got NFL football starting tonight. Chiefs, Ravens, and I'm pretty sure that's the two teams I picked for this practice mode. So if you guys are excited, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, today I'm going to show you guys what's probably one of the most important defenses that you can use in Madden or even College Football 25 because it's one of the best defenses to use against just about every single form of offense, whether it's running the ball, passing the ball, RPOs, you name it. The defense I'm going to show you guys today should always be in your audible plays, and you really should be using this defense every single game. So I'm going to go ahead and get right in it. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section as I put out videos like this all the time. And if you need more help with more money plays that go over stuff just like this in my Kansas City Chiefs offensive and defensive ebooks, and you can download them instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top end comment. Now, the best part about this defense is you can probably find it in your favorite formation, but my favorite formation I'm going to show you guys this play out of is the big nickel over G. And that's because this is probably my number one defense I use the most. I already put out a gameplay showing some blitzes out of the SS Blitz 3 and SS Blitz 2, as well as some other coverages. So if you guys want to see more, I'll have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video for that. But the play I'm going to show you guys today is cover for match. And there's two very different types of cover force in this game. There's cover for quarters, and then there's also the one I'm going to show you today, which is cover for palms. Now, cover for palms is much better when it comes to things like RPOs, and stuff like that and I think that's one of the biggest things that people probably don't realize is that there is a huge difference between these two plays I'm going to show you that first so we're going to, we're going to pick cover four quarters then on defense the biggest difference you're going to see is when it comes to playing RPO plays which is something that a lot of people use whether it's college football or Madden so we're going to go we're going to pick an RPO in the RPO alert bubble and I'm going to show you guys how these quarter flats react when it comes to RPO plays because that's probably the biggest difference when it comes to setting up this defense though whether it's cover four quarters or cover four palms one of the the reasons I like this particular defense is because all you have to do is pinch the defensive line, which is deep pad to the left and down, and you can see how it pinches the defensive line. It's going to make it very difficult to run inside. The other step would be to move this uh, cornerback or the safety outside, and now you're going to see how we have basically inside gaps are all taken up, and we also have outside leverage when it comes to these defenders. So if they try to run the ball outside, these guys are going to crash, and they're going to basically hold the point of attack and try to turn the defensive player back inside. As far as the base defense setup, I'm also going to hit wide triangle then down the right stick to play underneath and then I'm also going to bring my user back about 8 to 10 yards this is going to give me the opportunity to shoot gaps because when you're back this far before the play starts the offensive linemen aren't going to target you they're going to double team the defensive tackles allowing me to shoot in a lot of times and make uh, plays by myself so this is pretty much the base setup the last thing you might want to do is bring these safeties down a little bit but I'll go over that in a second when I go over covered shells and I'm also going to reset the play because I don't really want uh, to hard flat just yet I want to show you guys the difference on how these quarter flats react compared to this defense to the cover four palms which is the defense like I said I'm trying to show you I'm not trying to show you the cover four quarters but this is the setup so if we watch the bubble screen here you're going to see when the play starts that the defender that's supposed to cover that disappears completely and we're probably giving up a touchdown the very first play perfect example because this is exactly what I wanted to show you about how this defense doesn't work properly or maybe it did work properly because this is how the defense is designed as you're going to see right here this is a run play technically it's half pass half run you're going to see how this defender here is going to basically play inside and try to play his run fits first which is why he's totally out of position and this bubble screen here gets wide open and then goes down the sideline for an instant one play touchdown from a bubble screen which really should be the case now there are ways that i can affect this from this play simply by hitting the rb or the r1 button and up on the right stick to guess pass and now you'll see how this guy will react more to that screen or to that bubble screen because that's what i'm telling him to do as you can see now he follows it a lot better makes a tackle right at the line of scrimmage so that's one trick you can use if you're using the wrong defense but when you do this it also messes with the run fits anytime you guess pass these safeties here are going to drop back right away and play the pass which is not something i want You'll notice if I just let this play run and let the bubble screen get wide open on this next play, that these safeties are gonna play down and play their run fits, but we're still giving up big plays outside. But if I go to the replay, you'll notice on that last play, 
that both of these safeties dropped down to play the run. They walked forward rather than walking back, which was completely different if I guessed pass. So basically, these guys here have run fits, but I can cancel these run fits by guessing pass and putting them right straight into a pass coverage. And that's exactly why the Cover 4 Palms is the better version, because the Cover 4 Palms is specifically designed to stop RPO play. So the setup's going to be the same. Like I said, that doesn't really change. I still want to have these guys outside, pitch my defensive line, bring my linebacker back, whatever. I'm not going to hard flat this time just to show you guys how this defense naturally uh, has the effect of stopping RPO plays. I'm just going to let it run. And you can see right here, the guy's right on top of it as we tackle him for a loss. And now if we go to the replay, you can see that this defender is going to drop down immediately on that receiving route. But we also have our safety still playing the run fit. So you can see right here, this safety is still walking forward to stop the run. The safety on the other side of the field is still walking down in the box because now you have the best of both worlds. You have a defense that is designed to where these quarter flats are going to prioritize these bubble screens and you have safeties that are still going to drop down to play the run. So basically, no matter what my opponent does from this look, I'm going to get the stop. And it still works if I hard flat too. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hard flat this time. Like I said, walking these guys down into the box is important a lot of times when it comes to a receiver blocking the area. So it's not just for outside edge containment, it's also so that they can get around blocks. But you'll see here once again, this is already programmed to have this reaction. So whether I take those quarter flats away and put them to hard flats or not, they're still going to play that uh, area of the field because that's how cover four palms is designed. So I've gone over in the past a lot how cover four quarters is the best run defense because of the safeties. Well, cover four palms is the exact same way. So let's go and let's pick that one more time. This time though, we're gonna force a run play so we're just going to go ahead we're going to pick a uh, random run so now we picked random run and of course it's going to start us off with a goal line but let's do the exact same thing we're just going to have our setup the exact same way and i'm just going to show you guys how this works as far as stopping the run like i said i already have these safeties are going to drop down so if you know your opponent's going to run bring them into the box like extra linebackers if i'm facing something like this i'm just going to rely on them to help me out in their run fits as you can see they always have run fits for whatever reason now it's working sometimes the run fits don't show up sometimes they do but like i said i can shoot gaps with this defense because i'm too far back to be targeted and you can see the safeties are making the play at the line of scrimmage even against an overpowered run offense like this so you can see even against a goal line offense we have no issue shutting this down because these guys are going to run and fill as this safety who's supposed to be in deep coverage makes the stop at the line of scrimmage and as far as shooting gaps go as you can see right here we have another look where we have a potential run i mean it's a shotgun so we know that the, the running back has to cross the, the quarterback's face to get the ball but this is pretty much going to be the look right here. Like I said, I'm hoping for more outside runs to show how these hard flats work. But you can see from this distance back, as we're probably going to get a toss, that nobody really picks me up and I'm right on top of the defender. And that's because I'm eight yards off the line of scrimmage. And here's another example because I'm so far away, you can see how nobody picks me up. Even though there's a pulling blocker, I just run right around him and make the ball carrier tackle right at the line of scrimmage once again. And if we watch the safeties, you can see this is the biggest weakness of this defense. It is going to be my responsibility to try to turn the run play back inside. As you can see, the cornerback is swallowed up. He's not going to be much of a help. And the safety is too far away, or at least doesn't react quickly enough to get down on the running back. So if you're going against somebody who's running outside a lot, you might want to switch over to cover two zone because they do have outside run fits. So this is definitely the best RPO defense in the game. And it's also the best inside run defense in the game. But we also have a lot of ability when it comes to pass defense. So I'm going to pick that play one more time. We're going to go ahead. We're just going to go random. Um, we'll go random pass. Like I said, I can leave the quarter flats like this. But if my opponent's in an empty backfield, I will never do that. Because like I said, that's the easiest way to beat this defense. But if I want to go underneath coverage, you're going to see how a lot of times this really turns the next biggest issue into me using over the middle of the field. If there's multiple routes over the middle of the field, I have the option, though, to put one of these defensive ends in a vertical hook to help me out. You even though this will lessen the pass rush, a lot of times this is the best way to go. And I also find that you can really just put this guy on a pass rush and bring him down until these check marks pop up, as this will make the computer think that you're sending four rushers, and it will still give you a pretty decent pass rush. As you can see right here, we'll get that effect. And you can see the very first play tries to get it out. We're knocking it down, or we're getting a lot of coverage there. This, to me, is probably the best way to go a lot of times. Uh, although it's up to you. If you want to send four, you can send four. 
although I find it's best to get that extra help over the middle. As you can see right there, there was really nothing open. And once again, we got nothing open and the pass rush gets through based on the fact that, like I said, I'm bluffing with my own personal user blitz. So, like I said, if you only send three without the user, you're not going to get much pass rush. But since I started to play the way that I did, you're going to see how these guys are going to get sheds as we get a shed off. And I thought it was uh, going to be the Chris Jones, but he wasn't the guy that gets the shed. We get a much lesser player. So you can see how it's not the 97 overall Chris Jones gets the shed. It's going to be uh, one of the defensive ends. And that'll change pretty much every time because I don't think the ratings really matter. But you can see how you can make the pass rush better and still have a lot of coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I have some gameplay that I put up from this defense popping up the screen so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below